That's another one of the hallucinations that the Holy Spirit is a voice. Well, a voice as long as you seem to need one. But if you're it, what do you need a voice for? <laughs> if you're pure beingness, you don't even need a voice. So you see how it's all just metaphors and constructs to gently guide the mind to a place where, you know, you can let it go. And of course, in the happy dream, the words are but symbols of symbols, you know. I, I love it. People always talk about different semantics and, no, 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 it's this and this. Who cares? I, who cares about the words, you know? We have so much love and joy to share. You know, people can say, well, I believe God is, you know, he lives in a pink pyramid and, you know, he has antennas. And oh, come here, that's beautiful, <laughs> you know. Or, I, I do not believe in God, there is no God, there is no God, there is no deity. To, oh, yeah, yeah, come on, come here. You know, it's, you start to see that, that belief is, is the realm of the ego. It's the domain of the ego. Why, why would you argue about beliefs when the whole domain is beliefs, and it's all ego. But the Holy Spirit sees it from that perspective, so then it's fun. The words don't mean anything at all. You know, I believe if you stand on your head for ten minutes, you can achieve enlightenment. Oh, come on here! Uh, or the commercial ones. If you come and do my seminar for one week, for $10,000, I will guarantee you enlightenment. Ah, oh, that's good, come on, come here. You know, it doesn't matter, <laughs> it doesn't matter. I taught a class in psychology one time, and, and I did this paper at the end where I told the students to put out all your beliefs and, and just share all your insights and experiences of life, and they, they poured out everything. One of them said, I, I really am drawn, I resonate with Satanism, and so they, they wrote, you know, the paper on Satanism and everything, and there's some cool, cool things in there. I was like, ooh. You know, he said, he said, I think we should take responsibility for our feelings in this Satanism paper. I'm like, oh, right on. You know, it's like, <laughs> you can find it everywhere. So they want to call it Satanism. Okay, it's just a word. It's just words, you know, words. To, you know, don't let the words get in the way, no matter what they are. So this is the final characteristic of a teacher of God. Open-mindedness. Why do you think it's number 10? Number it's, it's so spectacular because it's got, it's so open that it doesn't see an opposite. You know, there's nothing someone could say to you where you have to contest them. And say, well, no, what I believe, you don't have to, why get into that stuff? You know, I have fun, Temple Square. It's interesting to me that, that if all this world traveling and everything, that I would have a monastery here in Utah, uh, you know, which such devotion, that's one thing we've noticed about a lot of the Mormon people that we've met, is they're very devo devotional, devoted. And a lot of them that we've met that have come out here to the edge over the years have kind of like, you know, they used to make the jokes about the recovering Catholics. They were kind of like recovering Mormons. They adore Jesus. And they have a great devotion to Jesus. And they have very devoted lives. And then they come out here and they go, aha. This is, uh, this is a Jesus I can really get to know now. We say, yeah. So it's kind of interesting, with all that devotion and, and everything that the, the Mormons seem to go through, all the seeming movements from east to west, and persecutions, and things being said and done against them, they, they kind of have, you know, it's just Jesus is at the core of it, and we could say at the core of the symbol of Jesus is the Christ, which is who we are, and who everyone is. You know, call it Buddha, call it Christ, call it Atman, you know, call it capital self, call it one, call it whatever you want. Who cares? Who cares about the words? I don't care. I have fun with everybody. We go, I, I, we were in that little country store with Charlotte. She says, what's, I said, I'm a monk. What's a monk? It's just someone who's devoted to God. We should all be that. You know, it's just, <laughs> you see how the exchanges go? We just, it's a recognition, and who cares what words get used, really? <laughs>